there is a small demonstration. Let us see what is this demonstration. I have taken a trough. This is a rectangular trough. You can see here, rectangular. And another trough is there. This is like a circle. Circular trough, glassy one I have taken. Now, in this, I have taken water and then I mix milk. I mix milk. So that the solution becomes colloidal. The solution becomes colloidal solution. Now, what am I planning to do is, I take the torch out. This is a light and this is the source of light which gives you white, white light. This is a source which gives white light. Okay, find this source of light I am putting over here. Right? And then, can you see some color? Can you see the color from here? What kind of color you are able to see? Come close. No, how is this appearing now? Bluish. From the top, bluish, right? Bluish. Okay, I'll switch off. Now? No color. No color. No color. Now? Bluish. Bluish. Bluish color. Okay, fine. Okay, this is one observation. Right. Now, what am I going to do is, I'll ask somebody, bend, and look from here, what kind of color you are going to see? Orange. Orange. Now the cameraman, please come here and then see that color. What kind of color? Orange. Orange color. Okay, fine. Right. Now what am I going to do is, see the position. This is the position and we have seen from this direction. Now, I am changing this. Look at this carefully, torchlight. Look carefully. Initially it was here, slowly I am turning like, you need to observe the torch. Slowly I am turning like this. Now I am positioning here. Now from this side, from this side, from this side, uh, observe what is the color. Please bend and see. What kind of color you can see? White. What white. kind of color? White. 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 It is white. Okay, white. Did you observe white? Yes. yes. Okay, fine. So. Look at this torch. Now I am slowly turning this side, slowly turning this side. And let us see from the other side. From here we'll see. From here we'll see. What kind of color is this? What kind of color? Sir, orange. Orange. Yeah, orange. It is orange. So now let us try to consolidate this torch. When I kept over here and when I kept over here, from both the sides you are able to see orange. Orange color. But when it was here, when we observed it was not orange. It is like white. 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 I am not able to see this light also. It is white. Mm -hmm. So all these facts, if I ask you, why is this happening here? What's the reason for all this? Why if you look from this side or from this side, it is appearing uh, orange mixed with the red, yellowish, all this, it's appearing like that. But when you see from this side, it is like white. Can you guess the answers? What are the answers for it? Why is it happening? Because of the distance. Because of the distance. distance. Okay, any more? Any more guesses? What exactly is happening? So for all this to explain. Scattering of light. Scattering of light, very good. All this, let me consolidate. And we have seen that from one side, that is this side and this side, if you have observed, it was looking orange mixed with the red color. Right? And let me explain why exactly that is happening. See, when sun is either this position or this position, this is called as this is called as sunrise, and then this becomes sunset. During these two timings, from the observer, the distances are long, right? And the orbit is elliptical in nature; it is not circular. So when it is at these two positions, that is during sunrise position or sunset position, the distance is maximum. Sunlight consists of seven different colors, white light. That is called as big ZR colors. That is the spectrum. Whenever white light passes through a prism, you have seven different colors. So sunlight contains big ZR, one part of the spectrum. It has many other 
light also, other different magnitudes or other different frequencies, other different wavelengths, light is there. But we are interested in the visible part of the sun, visible spectrum. So here, when sunlight is passing like this, all the colors, all these colors, B, I, B, G, Y, O, R, this part of the colors, like violet, indigo, blue, these colors have smaller wavelength. And the colors here, like yellow, orange, and red, they have larger wavelength. These are larger wavelength, and these are smaller wavelength. According to Raleigh, a physicist, he has done experimentation and he gave that the intensity of the scattered light is inversely proportional to fourth power of the wavelength. So here comes the concept of scattering. Whenever the light passes through the atmosphere, atmosphere contains many particles, atmospherical particles. When sunlight comes and strikes, right, all these lower wavelength ka jo colors hai, these are getting scattered. They get scattered. So, at the early stage itself, they will be scattering the most according to this formula. Since wavelength is small, intensity of scattering will be large. That's why when you look at the sky, the color of the sky is blue. Because almost all these lower wavelengths, violet, indigo, blue, they have been scattered. And that scattered light we are seeing, and so the color of the sky appears blue. But now the question is, why not violet? Some students ask me, sir, why not violet? Because violet has the smallest wavelength. So the sky color must be violet. Though violet scatters the most, but our eye is sensitive for a blue color. That's why mostly the color of the sky appears blue. But when I come to this position, when you look at the sun, it appears a reddish. Have you ever seen during sunrise and sunset? Yes. At these two positions, sun appears reddish mixed with orange and yellow. This kind of color will be seen. The reason is, for these colors, the wavelength is maximum. So wherever wavelength is maximum, the intensity of scattering will be small. That means, the red color, though there are atmospherical particles, it is not scattered. It passes on through the atmospherical layers and it will be reaching you. Therefore, during these positions where the distance, the passage of light from the sun to the observer is so long. So, during this time, what happens is most of the smaller wavelengths are scattered and only red color, which is having the largest wavelength, is left out. And that's why we are seeing the sun as red during this position and this position, sunrise and sunset. But during noon time, when it comes to the top, then what happens is the distance is small. When the distance is small, almost all the visible part of the spectrum of the sunlight is just crossing down like this without much scattering. That's why all these colors are together, it appears white only. It is advised not to see the sun during noon time. It is very powerful and it will be hot. That is what you have seen in that activity. Let us see it once again. See, look here. Now I am using another trough, glassy trough like this. Here I have taken this. Now let me see this. So here, this is sun. We can see from the top. From the top. Can't you see the bluish color here? Come yes, close. Sir. Is it not bluish? Yes, sir. It is bluish. Now, if you look from this side, bend and see. Please bend and see. What kind of color you can see? Yellowish. Yellowish. Orange. Head. Orange. Yeah, yes. please bend. Cameraman, please capture that. Is it bluish or orange, orange, orange. or reddish? Orange, orange. is orange, orange mixed with red. red. That means the distance here, you see the distance. So the sunlight is traveling long distance 
to reach the observer. By the time almost all the smaller wavelengths are scattered and only red is left out or orange is left out, that's why you are able to see the orange color from this side. And from the top if you see, from the sides if you see, is it not bluish here? Yes.